No. Did you guys lose bad? Uh, we were... I don't remember what it was on that stage. We lost 3-1. Okay. True. Um, I think, like, looking back on it, I should have just forced him to go Marth. Like, Marth... Marth Puff versus Marth, um... Luigi. Luigi. I feel like you can edge him out. I think so, too. Um, I mean, Sheik, like, Ooh. if his Sheik was as good as his Marth, then I would have said, I would have, I would definitely say to do that, but. Wow, that's Dolphin Slash. I see. His Marth, uh, we played a, a different double Marth team, and his Sheik just absolutely trunched them, so. I see. I was content to let him go Sheik for a while. Okay. I mean, I he's still, it was still fun to team with him. He we seems just, like a fun guy to team with, just in general. With. Just like yeah. uh, a fun guy to work together with. Yeah. Dude, so one thing that I think Marth hella struggles with in this matchup is like knowing when to swing on the wave dash in. And I think there are very few moves that can do it safely. And that was really good. What about just what about the down tilts? See the thing about down tilt is forward forward tilt outranges down tilt, especially when you're coming in. So you and it has like very few active frames, so it's not really something that you can just like throw out all the time, but if you know they're gonna come in then it's it's still good. Um, the, the problem is, if they wave dash in on you and they're crouch canceling and you hit with the bad part of the down tilt, you get down smash. So it's pretty tricky. And usually what I've defaulted to is just a nair. You just do a really yeah. slow nair in place or slightly faded. That's pretty good. Yeah. But, um, I still don't quite understand the hitbox of like his nair. Uh, like, Luigi it's, nair? It's, no, uh, of uh, Marth's nair. It's like, it's higher than... Than it looks. It's much higher than it looks. Like, I keep thinking there's gonna be like, like, cause Falcon side B goes under it a lot of the time. Yes. Great. The thing about that move is like, it's it's just shaped so weird, cause it's also on the Z axis. Yeah. And it kind of moves oh. on the Z axis. Huh. So like, it kind of like teeters. So if like if it was like a saucepan. It was like it was like a plate. Like sometimes it, it te teeters this way, and then it teeters this way within a certain range. So it's right. really weird. It wobbles. Yeah, it's not like it's not like a straight disc. It precesses. Yeah. Like the axis of the Earth. Dude, it's crazy. The z-axis is some shit, dude. The z-axis. The z-axis is, is ridiculous. It's it's quite ridiculous. In there's fact, a, there's an even crazier z-axis shit in Brawl, if you remember. Really? No. Yeah. No, no. Okay, so like. Uh, I'm not gonna get this fact exactly correct, but King DDD's spot dodge, like there were some characters that could only grab him on one frame if he like spammed buffer spot dodge. Because he would go on the because Z axis. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I'm sure Meta Knight would have been able to hit him, but yeah, that's fucking. Ridiculous. Well, you just like you just tornado if you're Meta Knight. That's true. I mean. Isn't that the answer to most <laughs> That's things? That's the answer to most of life problems. Yeah. I hella like that picture of just the four Meta Knight tornadoes on Battlefield. Uh-huh. And, you know, they <laughs> caption it with, like, literally whatever they want. But, yeah, those are the good days. <laughs> good old days. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, man, the Z-axis is... There's some crazy Z-axial things. <laughs> Young Bardizi. <laughs> so my my least favorite Arcadian was actually the one that Bartle won. Um, partly because he was in a shitty ass like. Oh shot. no! I think that was everybody's least favorite Arcadian. Yeah, and it was ran like incredibly poorly. Yeah. And also the guy that I bet money on didn't win. So. Did you bet? Did you bet money on Nat? No, no, hell no. <laughs> that was only. That was only. Who who did you bet on? I don't I don't remember who I bet oh. on. I think I bet on Do Young. Oh, yeah, he got yeah. second. So I've always been like, for Arcadians, I've always been the guy who bets from the start of the day um, and tries to scalp it. So like, uh, at this Arcadian, I said you made Widlar. Hella, you made hella, huh? I did. I said Widlar is gonna win, um, and I made a few other predictions that people didn't the, accept. The no Marth on. prediction. Right. So okay. So I, I, I yeah I had before I get into like my actual bets, I had three major predictions for the Arcadian. So number one, Weedlar was gonna win. That was correct. Number two, there's a player named Azul who's an up-and-coming uh, space NL player who will probably never come in here because he's so young. He's like 14. 
Anyways, yeah. uh, that kid... I think he's younger than Melee. He is younger than Melee. That's sick. Yeah, it's super sick. Um, anyways, so he's younger than Melee, and I predicted that he was going to place outside of top 8. Um, and due to circumstances, which I actually didn't think were going to happen, which was losing oh. to Wavebringer and then Chris Best, who went in way early, um, he ended up oh, getting yeah, ninth. Oh yeah, Chris Best went to losers early, huh? He went to losers round 2, I believe. That's... that's Ooh. That's wacky. Walmart is hella weird, dude. He just does weird shit. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, um, and then my my last prediction was that despite three Marths in the talent pool, who all three of them could have won, technically, I said that uh, none of them were going to win, and in fact, none of them would get past fourth place. And I believe Chris Best got fifth place. Mm -hmm. So I was right in all this. There's a bit of history with Weedlar, though. A lot of people really didn't like him or don't like him and didn't want to see him win, just in general. I, so I, I, I was rooting for Goose. Actually, I was rooting for Green Hat, and then he lost, and then I was rooting for Goose. I was I liked Green Hat until he went Ness. Then I, I couldn't I couldn't support him anymore. <laughs> uh, not because it's Ness, but because it's like... So apparently he picked Ness because he has a green hat. Correct. And he only plays characters that have fucking That's, green that is correct. fucking hats. And so as soon upon learning that, he's misfiring. Upon You're not learning a fan. that, I couldn't I couldn't support him anymore. No, that was bad. There are there are more characters that have green hats than you think. Really? Although not a lot of great ones. Um, Mario has got a green hat. That was you see, you see that four B saw that he did. Yeah. If he misfired, he would have made it back to the Correct. stage. Correct. Isn't that fucking sick? Yeah. I can't believe you went for that, dude. That's crazy. That's actually blowing my mind right now. <laughs> I just want to know the secret. Oh, Groovy Green set says not true. Also not true. Dude, someone. Whoa, what? Okay. Are we getting Groovy. trunched? Okay, good. I'm glad because this whole time I was like, like this guy really fucking picked Ness because he plays, he has a green hat, and then someone comes up to me and says, "Yeah, Groovy Green Hat only plays characters that wear green hats." And I said, "Wow, that is incredibly dumb," <laughs> and and like I'm I'm actually ashamed that you picked Ness on Pokemon Stadium because you know why not just pick Yoshi or uh, Luigi? Uh, anyways, what's up, Phil? Um. I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to support that, and I, I had to bet on Weedlar. I like that, that that was your line in the sand, yeah. Which you could not. No, I you could not support. I couldn't. Um, but dude, so I, I bet two people, yeah. ten to one odds at that tournament at the start of the day because they had such, such enormous hubris. Uh, and they, you know, people have oh, this thing at Arcadian young, Square. Young Patty Malone had to uh, backtrack on some of that shit. Right, right. Um, anyways. Oh, okay. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that was intentional, because he also had the drop down back air. Um, so, yeah, we were actually just talking about you, Gap. Um, oh, oh two suicides in one game. So, yeah. 10 to 1, 10 to one odds with two Jordan. people who really believed deep down in their heart that their proclaimed boy, a.k.a. their champion who they would bet on for the rest of the day, would win. Uh, I think both of them had Wavebringer, I think? I don't know who... Actually, no. I don't know who young Ghidorah had. Um, I don't think he had anybody. I think he just had not... I think he just didn't want Weedlar to win. And he didn't want Weedlar to win so hard that he was willing to put it all on the table. Long story short, 10-1 to 1 odds, and fifth game, last stock... Widlar wins, coming from losers, and I was so happy. Oh my god, I was just the happiest person. Like it was, it was beautiful. It was actually beautiful. There's not, there's not many better things than just like being so fucking right. Right, dude. About that's shit like that. That's what I'm saying, dude. So, um, there have been two Arcadians now that I've been so fucking right. <laughs> and those two Arcadians were Sam's Arcadian. Ooh, oh, I no, think no that that was not that's not like that wasn't a tough prediction. No, though. no, that wasn't. I, but still. Yeah. But I made more money off that prediction than I did with this one. And I oh, and I didn't do ten to one odds or anything like that. But the true thing was, uh, the guy who got second place had so many fucking friends, and he's such a cool guy that everyone oh, yeah. on him. Yeah. AKA Reason. 
He's such a fucking cool yeah, guy. I really no like way. him. Um, he played great, but uh, yeah. Dude, who? I know. What did Toucan win? He won an Arcadian, right? He won the Sack, sack Arcadian. Arcadian. Yeah, okay, okay. That's the guy. I know of him purely based off that, but I don't know. Oh my god, but I don't know him, nor have I seen him play or anything. I just know that he defeated my boy, D. Nuna. Oh my god, he almost just killed himself again. This is just crazy. So wait, 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 wait. What? Boulevard counterpicked this stage. Yes. <laughs> I, that seems unwise. It does, doesn't it? But I, 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 I mean, like, I feel like it should be FD, you know, like for his counterpick. But I was thinking Dreamland. Well, he probably. Oh, he probably him. banned yeah. it. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, yes, I agree, Dinuna is sick. But, well, I mean, I guess I can't doubt him based on his oh results my God. so far. Right. I think, uh... Oh, oh, I, oh. I don't like that Umar shields for his edge guard. So that means he needs to do an out of shield regardless to punish. And that that does not sit well with me. Um, the only time that I think that you need to shield is when they're far out and they're charging one, or you're at high percent playing around misfire. What what does counter work on uh, the side B? Is that a useful no, not really, huh? It's, it's it just kinda not. like it kinda just puts him back yeah, off. Exactly. Um, and against a floaty, like you can even air dodge. Not that that's that good, but I mean like, you know, that's how close you are. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Toucan, yeah, I'm sorry, you are only known for the Sacramento Arcadian win. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea about anything in your life. I don't know your name, I only saw that you were in my stream, I think, or there was Tavoslayer68, but yeah.